Alright, what's up guys? I'm back with another installment. Remove the ARP head studs. And don't forget to remove your oil jet. You do not want to lose that. And we're going to hone these cylinders out and get it ready. Used our flex hone with 10W oil. Want to do a 45 hatch pattern. Try to get all the couldn't get all the up and down lines out of it, but you know it's a lot better than it was. So we're gonna proceed. We got it flipped over, and I noticed that these are all labeled one, two, three, four, and five with the arrow. So that makes it a lot easier. Cleaned it up a little bit. I put our new mains in. Same with the other side. Clean up the bolts a little bit. Ready to set the shaft in place. And a little tip I like to do on the O-rings, I don't have any regular grease, but I like to pack these full of grease. It helps hold that spring in. You know, I pack these full of grease, and all I got is triple guard marine grease, so I'm going to use it. You know, I'm going to pack these full of grease, and uh, I'm going to set the crankshaft in there. I know the crank probably should go to the machine shop and be balanced and all that, but, you know, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to send it. Looks like all the damage is right there, which... If you do the B18 rods, I heard this is, has to be grinded out anyway for clearance. So, you know, no, no, I'm not sweating it. You know, if it's a bad motor or whatever, I'll probably end up doing a swap soon. So, we're going to send it, put it together. Forgot about to mention about the thrush washers. Go in between, you know, cylinder two and three with the notches out. And uh, I was first calling these thrust bearings, and nobody knew what the hell I was talking about. These are thrush washers. Everybody was looking at me like I'm crazy. It's thrush washers. All right. All right, I got our rear main seal and our crank seal packed with grease. You do not have to do this. When I went to small engine school, the old man told me that's how he did his technique, so I've been doing it ever since. I used a little bit on the crank thrush washers just to hold them in place. I add some oil, half-ass clean up the crank, and set it in place. All right, here's our crank, and the only damage I'm seeing is where it rubbed aluminum off, which... You know, and again, I know this should probably go to the machine shop and be balanced and polished and all that shit. Blah, blah, blah. I'm probably going to go with a different motor soon anyway, so I'm just going to reassemble it and send it. Guys, we set the crank in place. Slid our spacers in till they were uh, washers. Not washers, fucking seals. till they're flush. we will probably go in a hair, but... Pretty much got our both our seals in place. I'm sure it's probably best to torque these down and hammer those in. You know, oh well. All right, we got our mains torqued down. 48 foot pounds, what my book says, and you know, boom, 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 crisscross pattern, ba ba ba. So yeah, I'm gonna put the oil, uh, put the rods in. I'm gonna put the rods and pistons in, and uh, then we'll put our our oil oil feed tube and all that. So stay tuned all right ladies and gentlemen that all the pistons are in torqued down the specs and it's freezing ass cold out here I had to put on my jumpsuit so I think we're gonna call it good for tonight and continue on the rest tomorrow so stay tuned thanks for watching